Hello, this is a tutorial for Rachel Samani's I've Got a Girl, um, as requested on one of my other tutorials. And I worked it out off um, her video on face culture as opposed to any of her recordings, studio recordings of it. Um, so, this is that version. Um, in that video, she is toned, tuned down on every string um, a tiny amount flat. Um, so if you are in normal tuning and you play along, it might sound a little bit off. Um, I found it's about 10% down, her tuning. So if you tune 10% down um, and play again, it should be alright. So um, it starts with this chord. The lyric I've got to go. Um, and it's the 9th fret on the A string, the 10th fret on the D string, and the 8th fret on the G string. You just strum it once. And then move down to a kind of E major shape, but on the 7th fret. So that's 7th on the A string, 7th on the D string, and 6th on the G string. And then back up. This time you're adding your little finger on the original chord to the 10th fret on the B string. And then your 7th um, fret E kind of shape but now with your little finger added to the 8th fret on the B string. And then when she's at the end of those two chords, um, this chord comes in. Um, or like this. Um, which is 5th fret on your bottom E, 4th fret on your D, 5th fret on your G, and 4th fret on your B. And then she jumps into an E minor. And she's um, palm muting it with uh, her strumming hand. So you put this part of the hand on the strings. So you should repeat this a bit, playing quite slowly, strums few and far between, and then she moves up to an A as a power chord, so 5, 7, 7, and she doesn't play any other chords there. It is an A minor, um, if you care about that, but she's not playing any of these notes. And then she puts the 6th fret, same chord as the A power chord, but puts the 6th fret on the E string. And um, again, palm muting all these strums. And then back to the E. And now she occasionally adds the third fret to the E, giving a G, which is minor in the E scale. Um, and she also adds the third fret to the G string, um, but it's a lot less prevalent, so you don't really need to worry about it. For all this kind of section, she's very much playing the bottom three strings. So. out a little bit um, so you can you can hear them better you don't you don't palm you them as much like this so once you've done that twice you'll get to this point and she'll play this chord and um, this is the same kind of transition chord we had before the five four five four but it's just two frets up so seven six seven six so that's 7 on the E string, 6 on the D string, 7 on the G string, and 6 on the B string. Um, okay, and then now she moves into a bit of a faster moving bit. Um, and the strumming pattern is like a... first chord <coughs> is five, 5 on the E string, 4 on the D, 5 on the G, and 5 on the B. And then we move 
move to a D minor. And back. And D minor. And back. And B major 7. So, first on the A, third on the D, second on the G, and third on the B. B major 7. She, she's calmed it down when she's playing this chord and then she does it over an F so she extends her index finger from that A string to cover the first fret on the E string as well and then back up so that whole section is D minor the A thing D minor A B major 7 over F and then back and second time round, after playing this chord once, she slides down like that. So that same chord shape, just one fret down. So and the um, kind of changes here go, and then back to the D minor. So that's and when you play the D minor here, you don't you don't strum all at once. That was a little mistake by me, just replaying that. Um, so you play the D note, the 5th fret on the A string, then strum the D minor, then hit the bottom E open, and then go back to your A chord here. Okay, so that's quite confusing, it goes. Right. Um, so if you play that all through, it should go. Then instead of going to the B this time, we go to an uh, E7, which is a uh, so if we're walking down the strings, open second fret on A, open D, first fret on the G, third fret on the B, and open top E. You play that, and then you head right back to our first chord, and you play it. Bar muted, and you slide down, and you have to listen to her for the time of the strums because they're quite occasional. And then second time round again, add a little finger, and then bar. So that's all the same as last time, and this is again the same. Skip, and I'm going to go to the next section again. And this time, around just being a bit more liberal, you can let that top E come out when you play the D minor. And you got slide still, but you don't do the ordered thing here because she's trying to pick up the pace. There's no time to choose what, um, choose what. Choose what note you're playing to specifically. So instead of going, she's just, and then you go down to the E minor with the E7, and this is where we've done that whole section again. You would go back up here, but instead you play a palm muted A minor down here. Standard zero two two. And then you play, um, so from the, the previous section we had this chord, the one that goes, this chord here, you want to play this, just one fret down, um, which is also part of the previous section, um, so you go from the A minor to that chord for two strums, and then go up, two strums, and then go back down to an E7. So A minor, that lower chord, and now the A chord, and now E7. And then after all this, she goes back up, and it's the very end of the song, and it's being played very slowly. And then 
that you just slide down. And then she finishes on this chord. And on the face, uh, the face culture uh, recording, I think it's called, she finishes by playing the E, the seventh fret on the A string. So. And there you go, that should be it. Um, I hope that it's been easy to follow and um, informative. And, um, and yeah, if there's any questions, if I didn't really do the, um, the explanation of each chord very well, give me a shout and I can do it in the YouTube comments or I can put a, a tab up on Ultimate Guitar if I've got time. And um, any other Rachel Smiley songs, uh, do request and I should get around to doing them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and thank you for asking me to do another tutorial.